This is a village. Villagers live here. But in order to stay alive, they have to cooperate and create a system where they can trade items to get the ones they cannot produce by themselves. Since it can be hard to know what the trading is worth, they created a currency, emeralds, to help them put a price on their products. It is not only villagers who do the trading, in fact, outsiders can also interact with them. For a certain amount of emeralds, these outsiders can either buy or sell items from the villagers. This is Steve. This outsider just arrived here in this village and he wants to adapt to that village's economic system to live here. Look, Steve just bought 3 carrots with the only emerald he had. Now, this little guy could eat them. But that would be dumb, since he wouldn't have any single carrot left afterwards. Oh, a bright idea. He chose to plant them. Each one of those carrots are going to grow and will eventually multiply. We could compare this to real-life economics. Indeed, we could compare those carrots as long-term and safe investments, since the longer you wait, the more profit you will get. Seems like Steve grew a lot of carrots. He is now on his way to trade them in exchange for emeralds. With those emeralds, he decides to buy some potatoes, which are worth more, but are kind of risky. Yes, they are risky because unlike the carrots, the potatoes might grow poisonous and be worth nothing at all. We could compare this to riskier investments. Yes, they are worth more and could be more profitable, but only a little bit of bad luck and it will all be gone. Put it simply, a loss of money. Wow. It would seem that Steve has learned how to trade now, but of course, just like a lot of people, he wants more. Since he has been trading a lot recently, he knows where to buy or sell his stuff in order to have as much money as he can. The problem is, because Steve bought a lot of things, he is struggling a bit with his emeralds. Every time an item gets sold out, it gets a price increase for everyone when it's resupplied. This could be compared to real life demand. The more is bought, the higher the prices are. Also, another thing that will make the prices vary is gossiping. At around 4 p.m., villagers will gather in the middle of the village and, whenever he does a good or bad action, they will discuss it. Good actions will lower the prices, while bad ones will do the opposite. They also discuss things such as their sales. While they talk about his actions, they will decide if they should give him bonuses or special discounts, do nothing, or increase prices. If Steve trades enough with one of them, that villager is going to offer him a variety of new deals. This is like working for this same company long enough to see yourself gain bonuses and get promoted which means you'd get a higher paycheck and employee discounts. Also, each item that they sell could be compared to skills. The more you work, the more you have. <laughs> 